I'm Chris Bertram. I'm a professor of kinesiology and the director of the Human Performance Laboratory at the University College of the Fraser Valley in British Columbia, Canada. One of the things that we like to do is look at better ways to design learning environments. And one of the skills in particular that we're interested in are better ways to learn components of the golf swing. The types of issues that we study in our lab are the effectiveness of video feedback as a teaching tool, the effectiveness of verbal coaching as a teaching tool, all of the standard sort of practices that you see in the industry. And so when I saw uh, the explainer on TV, I haven't found a better training aid yet. I thought, what an interesting idea for a study. This is the first time that I'd seen an attempt to let people feel what is right in the golf swing as opposed to consistently being told what is wrong with their golf swing. Essentially, what we did was get a group of golfers to come into our laboratory had them go through a, a series of golf shots and we measured components of their swing and then we assigned them to one of two groups. One group got to just go and hit balls as they might do on a day at the range. The other group got to spend some time in the explainer. These people that practiced with the explainer swung the clubs slower yet they were generating greater club head speed. That's something that I think golf coaches have been trying to tell people for a long time, that they don't necessarily have to swing it faster to generate club head speed. So they were getting greater distance in their shot, and they were able to maintain a more consistent swing. And those effects were noted immediately after they'd stepped out of the explainer. And more importantly, we found that a week later when we brought our subjects back, the changes that had occurred immediately after getting out of the explainer persisted over the course of a week. A really nice example of why kinesthetic feedback is useful. I actually heard from explain our inventor Luther Blacklock himself. The way that you learn to ride a bicycle is by learning to feel balance. And I think the golf swing is a perfect analogy for that.